For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God says, come now. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus came to seek that which is lost. Whereas Jesus will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And those that deny me, Jesus will deny before the Father and before the holy angels. That he that has the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And the wrath of God is hell. And hell was created for the devil and his angels. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And behold, your sin will find you out. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. And Jesus said, it is finished. And the angel said, he is not here. He is risen. And Jesus said, to those that are his, go into the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus also said about himself, I am the way the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus also said he is the door. He is the water of life. He's the great shepherd. He's the blessed hope. He's the mighty God. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Israel. And he can be your Savior. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I didn't ask you to do anything. I didn't ask you to go anywhere. I didn't ask you to pay anything. I asked you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. 
Only through Jesus Christ and the salvation thereof are you able to get to a place called heaven. And without Jesus Christ, you won't get to heaven. You can't get to heaven unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Our God, our Creator, could be your Savior. If you call upon Jesus Christ to be saved and repent of your sin. Because if you die in your sins, you'll pay for your sins for all eternity in a place called hell. But you need not to go to hell just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Salvation is so simple. It's through Jesus Christ alone. And only through Jesus Christ. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Are you willing to risk all eternity? Because you think God is wrong. And you are right. When the Bible says to prepare to meet thy God. Well, preacher, I'm an atheist. The fool has said in his heart that there's no God. I didn't say that. The Bible said that. If you do not know Jesus, you do not know God. If you do not put your love and faith in Jesus, you don't love and have faith in God because Jesus is God. Mary's not the mediator. The Bible says there's one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. She's a female. And if you're so stupid to think that there's another gender or no gender, go lock yourself up. The Bible says God made male and female. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. All you're doing is defying the Word of God. Mary's a female, and God says the mediator is a male. Mary does not fit the qualifications. And plus, Mary was a sinner. After she had Jesus circumcised, she brought two turtle doves, and two pigeons for a sacrifice, and according to the law of Leviticus 12, that was a sin sacrifice. Mary was a sinner. And she admitted her sins. So Mary can't get you to heaven. Mary had a little lamb. The lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. Its fleece was white as snow, with the precious blood of Jesus without spot. It's not Mary that can save you, it's that little lamb that's able to save you. And that lamb is the lamb of God. That lamb is the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And without the lamb of God, there is the wrath of God. And the wrath of God is hell. And if you don't want the wrath of God, you don't want the hell of God. The 
Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You are a sinner for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. That's you and me. Me and you. You're going to die because you're a sinner. And before you die, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved from hell. Because if you die faith and belief in Jesus, when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And if you die without Jesus Christ and rejection of Jesus Christ, and he died, and in hell he lifted up his eyes in tor torment. There's blessings of heaven through Jesus and the torments of hell by rejecting Jesus. It's your choice. I can't force you. God's not going to force you. It is your choice before you die if you go to heaven or if you go to hell. And when you have heard the preaching of the Bible and you go to hell, it's your fault. Because you have heard that Jesus saved. You have heard to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And when you have rejected Jesus, you will wake up in hell. Besides, the fact is, you heard the preaching of Jesus. You've heard the Bible preached. You have heard that there is no other hope than the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. Only Jesus saves. You are hopeless. Without Jesus. When the Bible says that the blessed hope is Jesus. There is no satisfaction of God outside of Jesus Christ. There is no heaven without Jesus Christ. There is no other way when Jesus said, He is the way. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Come to Jesus and be saved. Come to Jesus and know God. Because you cannot know God when you have rejected Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Heaven is obtainable. You can go to heaven through Jesus Christ. There's no heaven by rejecting Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You're not 
safe in religion. You're not secure in atheism. Come and know God out of agnostic. Come out of religion and meet God. Come out of the water of baptism and come to the blood of Jesus Christ. Stop in your works and believe on the works of God. Come and know God through Jesus Christ. Come and be saved through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. God is not willing that any should perish. God's ambition is for you to be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Put your faith and trust in Jesus, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Come and taste and see that God is good. God sent forth his Son, to be made sin for us who knew no sin. Jesus Christ, the sinless, can save the sinner as you and me. The gift of God's eternal life. And that gift is the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. All liars will have their part in the lake of fire that burneth. The good news is the gospel news that Jesus Christ saved. That he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the way to heaven. That is the way to God.